Hello Zebraher, welcome back to LEGO Harry Potter years one through four. Today we are tackling the final three levels of the story mode in free play and then we can move throughout other you know, open world selections of adventuring the game. It should be a lot of fun. We have these three levels, which of course is going to be Secret of the Egg, the Black Lake, and the Dark Lord Returns. Let's get started with the first one, the Secret of the Egg. We got three characters, a full crest. Basically, we have everything to collect here. So let's get started. So we're starting as we do with so many levels in the bathroom. So there's a lot to do in here, I'm sure. So we're gonna first just walk around that and get a full true wizard very quickly. And then we wanna change to Snape, it seems, because I see this right here. Whoop. And we get a secret character. It is Moaning Myrtle Swimsuit. <laughs> Isn't that great? So it seems like there's quite a lot that we can do here. I think what we're supposed to do is get all of the shells onto that one part of the bath. We're not gonna do that right away. As you see, we already got one out of four for that one, like a little bathroom cabinet. And the torches are another thing. So there's lots to do in this bathroom. And we got the, the student in peril. Wow, this is all going really quick. So we got the student in peril. We got a bunch of yellow bricks here that I can build into something. Oh yeah, that's a little cover for the toilet. Okay, well there's lots to do. <laughs> Whole big bunch of it. What about this chest? I can't do anything with the chest? Huh, weird. Oh, oh. Ah, oh okay, it's one of these. Uh, let's do ridiculous. I already have. What is that gonna do for us? I don't even remember. That's gonna be another secret character, Cedric Diggory. Okay, two secret characters already. Already have some good progress with some other stuff. That's actually really, really good. So these three things, I'm gonna blast if I can. Two, three, four, there it is! That was so easy. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna grab that real quick. Slytherin Crest. And then we're also going to interact with this over this way. And this should be the third and final one. Boom. Look at that, super rapid fire action. We got the um, Hufflepuff crest. We're gonna turn those two sinks off to move forward with the level. So this rate, we're just looking for what? One more secret character and two more crest pieces? That really shouldn't be too bad. Oh, speaking of which, how do I do that? Oh, I see, I see. If I switch over to Hagrid, I can open this up. And look at that. That is for me, maybe. Aha, there it is, the Gryffindor one. Is there even anything after this bathroom area? I don't even remember. <laughs> like maybe there's not, maybe that's why this goes by so quick. There we go, oh, that's gonna pop it out. And can we go into these other stalls? I can't even hop on these toilets, so probably not. So honestly, we are starting to run out of things to do in this area, so we've done a great job at clearing it all out. Got it? And what about this one trash can? It made it really large. Okay. Does this have any real purpose besides being really silly? I guess not. That didn't even give me any studs. Is there a purple stud back here? Because sometimes there is. This time there's nothing. That sort of stinks. Anyways, we still have a couple more shells to bring back, like this one and then the guy with the painting. And then we should be fine. We should be all finished. With this area, we'll move to the next one. But man, it's crazy how fast we did all that. It was like how much stuff we got in such a short period of time. You don't see that too often. So can I just blast this or maybe it's to do with something, one of these lockers, I don't exactly remember. But there's a way to help him. Or, yeah. Oh, here we go, there's something on the floor. Oh, um, yeah, I gotta use this. Here we go, umbrella for you, sir. Give me that clam, if you don't mind. Thank you. And we are going to just put that there and we should just automatically be moved to the next area. We'll find out. <laughs> it moves so slow. But when you're holding something in this game, it's weird. Okay, where are we going? Uh, oh yeah, down in the bathroom, or the bathtub. Get a bunch of studs and, ooh, it's very fancy down here. We're gonna use Reducto right away on that. And what is inside? Another secret character, our third and final one, Floor Lake Task. Very cool. And then we can switch to Hermione over this way, who we normally wouldn't have. Stars, Hats, Potion, Moon. Got it. And there we go. So we've done it. We've completed the level already. Let me get these studs, just for good measure. I guess a super short and simple level. We're just gonna return to the Leaky Cauldron. Man, <laughs> imagine if they were all that way. This series would be a whole lot shorter. Moaning Myrtle Swimsuit. Sadric Diggory unlocked as well. And then lastly, we had uh, Floor 
in the lake task. And the house crest completed, and the true wizard completed, and we got 131,000 studs. That's a lot less than we're used to. So not quite 18 million, but we're getting there. And we get the student in peril, and we get three more gold bricks for a total of 108. I'm pretty happy with that. We made some great progress, and we are good to move to the next level. Here we are at the Black Lake. Now this area I know is gonna have a lot of exploring to do. Um, it's just an area I sort of skipped over a ton of stuff, I mean purposely, so we could do it right here. But there's these stones I can attack. And they don't seem to do much. Hmm, maybe I need to attack them in a certain order? Uh, I don't know, they just don't do much. Okay, that's fine. I got other things I can do. Under the water here, we gotta mess with seaweed and all this sort of stuff. So the only way we can move towards like forward and back in this level is to use these little pipes that will show up every once in a while. And we'll worry about those once we come to them. For right now, I figure we'll just explore whatever plane we're on as much as physically possible. We got this, yeah, this little skeleton in a, with a chest. I guess he had, well, leave me alone. These guys aren't nice. Um, I guess he just had some studs, nothing too crazy. But yeah, oh, I'm supposed to get rid of them? Really? If you say so. They seemed like normal guys. Oh, maybe they were what were, were in the chest. I don't know. Uh, anyways. Yeah, there is like a way to, of course, go through here with those shark guy. A little bit of studs up there. There's a true wizard already with 76,000 studs. What about this? Seems like I can beat this up a little bit. There it is. Not too much more I can do. There'll be more I can do on the other side of the pipe, I think. So let's go on in. And here we are, so we're normally supposed to go to the right. But I wanna go to the left because I'm just such a contrarian. And what about this? Like, there's like, a, whoa, what is this thing? I don't know what these are. Oh, I guess they're eating the thing. Okay, that's weird, but okay. See ya. What are those things supposed to be? I don't know, I don't remember them. Uh. So I guess if I mess with certain plants, that'll happen. I gotta keep that in mind. There's a little clam, too. I'm gonna open that up. <laughs> Two out of nine. So I guess there's maybe a little clams to beat up. Or maybe they're just like random sea critters we can attack. No, I do see another clam over this way. But that was, no, that was three out of nine, okay. They're so small, that has me very concerned. There's lots to do in this level. There's a very high chance I might miss some stuff. And there's a secret character, though. Thank you very much. That has Harry Lake Task. There's a lot of versions of Harry. We're gonna go over every character once we unlock them all. That's gonna be a lot of fun. But for right now, there's a lot of versions of Harry in this game. Um, maybe too many. <laughs> we can go over here for now. I do see another one of these little evil sea monsters of doom. Be gone, sea monster of doom. I do not want to be doomed by the monster of the sea today. I don't see too much up this way. I don't know what all this different like metal framing is for. Can you get out of here? How many friends does this guy have? <laughs> there we go. I can't quite reach that, so I guess, yeah, there must be something later on that helps me reach it. Oh, I do see another one of these clamps. And what is this? Oh, it's a little fish made out of studs. That's cool, I like this. But now we're getting a lot more studs in this level. There's just a lot to collect. Come on, going down here. There's definitely a pipe somewhere. In the meantime, it's just my job to find as much as we can in this area as possible. Get rid of this guy if I can. Awesome. I haven't seen any more of those vines I can levitate though. Anyways, doesn't matter too much for right now. I can just blast through that. I won't go down it quite yet, because there's definitely more to explore around here on this plane, it seems. Yep, like a clam right there. Well, that's what I was looking for. Potential clam situation. Oh, and the squid's in the way. Well, I don't need to go that way anyways for right now. So I'm gonna leave him be, because I know that's the way I need to go to progress. Oh, I do see another clam, let me hit that guy. That's going to be, what, uh, six out of nine. We are so close, we need three more. I don't see too many over this way, but that doesn't mean they're not here. First off, we can definitely, oh, we can give you your little oars so that you can row away. There you go. Goodbye. Huh, oh, there's a little pit under him, oh, cool. Oh, and there was a student in peril. Well, I'm glad he could hold his breath for that long. He saved. There we go, student in peril. We've also gotten one of the secret characters, so we still have two more of those to find. 
And there's something down here, isn't there? There's a purple stud, whoa, nice, okay. Thought I saw the purple shimmer or something. Okay, well it's a purple shimmer of tons and tons of money. We can also damage this a little bit. It doesn't do much, it just sort of wiggles. Huh. And more of these rocks. I don't know what's going on with those. Okay, well, I'll keep it in mind. I'm gonna get this a little bit. And then, oh, here we go. Oh, I guess the other person is this will be on the other side, gotcha. But don't worry, we figured it out. And... This stuff is opened up. But we've seen that already. We're not too worried. I could always switch back to Hermione though, which is very useful. It doesn't seem to make too much of a difference, so actually it looks like that area's a dead end, maybe? Well, they sort of both lead to the same spot, okay. But I do see a clam back there. I'm glad I looked. So that's seven out of nine. We're still looking for, oh gosh, two more. Sorry, Hermione. Where could they be? That's what I'm wondering. I can't really go up there too much. That's all right. Oh, there's more of this stuff. This weird stuff. Gonna do that. Oh gosh, get out of here. There's another one. Be gone. Zap this guy. That's it. And then zap these two guys as well. So I gotta keep looking for rocks that they can sort of attack and they'll make them float. So what is this about? This was actually something mandatory to move forward, I remember. But for right now, if I don't need to do it, I'm definitely not going to. I'm gonna focus on the other non-mandatory things. Anything of interest up this way? Not looking like it, so yeah, this is where we need to combine things. Oh, I do see the clam right there. Oh man, they could be in such plain sight areas that I'm really worried I might have missed one. But that's gonna timber over and knock down all those rocks. Okay, hold on, don't go to the left just yet, or to the right, I need to go back to the left. And, wait, can I not? Okay, for a second I thought I was stuck, I was like, you're kidding me. Yeah, just go back over this way, if you don't mind. And that is eight out of nine. So we're looking for one more clam, I sure hope I haven't missed it. I will look high and low for it. All over the place, for the one, oh no, missing clam, can I go back? I can't go back, that has me highly concerned because usually those kind of uh, collectibles don't jump between areas like this, so I probably missed it, which is gonna be such a pain to go back to. What do we have over here? Another secret character, that is the guitarist. Apparently, that was a character. All right, I don't remember the guitarist, but that's fine. Let's do this, though, right over here. What'll this be? Whoa. Okay, so we have some kind of skeleton we can put together, and he'll give this a tug. Oh, cool. Come on, buddy. You can do it. What do you got? Oh, yikes, he got squished. But we also get the Slytherin uh, crest. That's cool. I'm really starting to get worried that, that we missed out on, on uh, the last clam, which it just really stings because we found eight out of nine of them, you know? It's quite a lot to find to not get them all. But I'm not gonna give up just yet. I am gonna keep looking. So I don't quite know what we're up to around here. It looks like I can get our one character over this way and then switch back to Snape. Oh yeah, and move this all like that. But Hermione, you were supposed to be over there. Okay, guess it doesn't matter much. Hmm. Okay, beat up this guy. And then, if you don't mind, I don't know why, yeah, the gravitation is not always working for him. Got it, and then I can switch over to Hermione. And there's like more stuff to hit, but nothing too important. Oh, there's Shark Guy, there's Shark Crumb. That's who it is. Uh, what do I do with this? Do I just attack the eye? Yeah, that's right, gotcha. And that seems to have done everything I needed to do. I'm not seeing any more clams though. Oh boy. Hmm. And this guy comes back. Not very friendly. But I swear that he's friendly in the books. I don't know if he's, he's friendly in the movies. I don't think he ever does anything mean in the books. Like, he just sort of hangs out. 
And then there's a point in time where like some first years fall in the lake and he sort of saves them. So what's up this way? Oh yeah, we need this, the pearl. I remember. Oh. I don't know why he gave us that that, that time. I don't know what I did, but I must have done enough. So that is the Hufflepuff crust. And like we know of the other two. One of them is the clams, and then the other one is the, what's it called? It is the um, different rocks that we can send flying upwards. There should still hopefully be more of those. We're going into yet another new area and still not finding either of them. So things are not going very well in that regard and that's just very concerning. I do see some stuff we can scare away. There's like an anchor here. That's it. That must be something secret. Oh, okay. I don't think we had to do that before. I mean, maybe we did. I certainly don't remember it. Can I do anything worthwhile with this? What is that? Um, good question. Oh, it's one of those worm things. Gotcha. And then there goes one of the little guys. And there's that. So I guess I had to do that. Yeah, so never mind. We've already done that. But I there was more to it than that, just that. So... I hope these are the last two. It was out of six, right? Yep, it was. So I just have to find the other one. Okay, let go of me. You guys are being rude. No, no, no. And what about this one? Shouldn't it be too big of a deal? I don't know if it'll be the same thing. It may be. Doesn't look like it. But at least I can free you over there. Oh, wait, there it is, there it is, there it is. Got it? Bring it right back over this way and we should be fine with this. At least we'll get this crest, but that does make me think I should look extra around for the last clam. Usually those kind of things are all in the same like area. I don't see anything over here. Like on this first, hmm. I'm really not seeing anything that's so concerning. Really stinks. But was there anything more I needed to find beyond that? I feel like there was one more secret character, so it's good to keep looking around. That is for sure. I don't see too much. Well, actually, we already found it. It was a crumb shark. So actually, if we can't find the clam, we're done with this level. We need to just go and restart it, unfortunately. And looking around, I am not finding much more. So I think that we missed a clam. That's that's a big bummer. Oh well, if we tried to do what we could. I'm just gonna go ahead and return to the Leaky Cauldron and then try the level again and get that one thing. But we got Harry, the lake task, and we got guitarist. Like I said, we've already gotten the shark crumb from this the first time we played it. We also got the true wizard and over 18 million studs, I'm sure, and the student in peril. So that means in total, we have 110 golden bricks until we get the one piece of the crest. Then we'll have 111. Oh, there it is. I've been looking high and low for you. Far and wide, high and low, that's just the saying, right? Something like that. Anyways, there it is, we get the Ravenclaw thing, and we are good to return to the Leaky Cauldron for real now, right? Yeah, yeah, for real. So there we go, there's that level complete, which means there's only one level left for today's episode, and it is the final level of the game. I'm super excited for it, it is the Rise of the Dark Lord. But for right now, we get our 100th and 11th golden brick, that's pretty cool. So here we are in the very spooky, the Dark Lord returns. We're gonna be just trying to activate as much as I possibly can, destroy as much as I can, and really just go through this level as thoroughly as possible. And hopefully that'll all work out. Looks like there's ways I can jump off these plants to get some extra studs, might as well. Yep, do the same thing over this way. And we already got our true wizard. And we're gonna get much, much more beyond that, as we always do. Thank you very much. Got some plenty of stuff to beat up around this way as well. So I wonder what happens, okay, there's a, there's a plant that gets us one out of eight. So I know that there's at least seven more of those hanging out somewhere that I gotta beat up. And now we gotta do this to actually continue with the level, as you can see. And one more over that way, and that should be good. Looks like it. So I wonder what happens now if we go the wrong way. I think it'll just reset us in this room. Like he's gonna tell us, okay, go, or do I have to hit him or something? Yeah, he's gonna be like, all right, go right. And yo, laugh. What if I just go down? Nope. Okay, so it just like it, nothing happened. So we can just leave and then move on to the next thing. Knowing that hopefully that'll work out. There should be another one, yep, two out of eight. But there's just like lots of stuff to beat up and we do need to make sure we just beat up like every single thing then. And hopefully everything will turn out quite well with that. Got a flower right there, I can't miss. 
And as, as long as these rooms are cleared out, I, I'm gonna feel at least pretty confident that we're making the right choices. Cause you know, we gotta get quite a lot of stuff as per usual, the same setup. And then we're done. We never have to do a free play level again, I think. I mean, there might be bonus levels. I'm not really sure. We'll find out sooner or later. Anyways, we're gonna do a little bit of that. Awesome. And what's going on over this way? It seems like that's about it. So all I need to do now is switch over to our Immobilis and just keep blasting these guys and we'll eventually get him. And it's gonna be another one of these. I don't quite remember what it was, but it seems to be the same thing every time, so if I could memorize it, that'd make this like super quick. I mean, I don't know if you can like cheat it out and like leave before it's time. I think you have to activate this to actually leave. So it's gonna be left, right, and down, I think. Yep, left, right, and down. See ya. So, now that we're here, First off, there's plenty of studs to get. I just need to be standing and jumping at the right angles. It's sort of a little bit of an illusion. I actually don't know where that stud really is placed. Now we can blast everything. There's another one of these flowers that'll give us a something out of eight, three out of eight. We can grab that stud, and then this one. There we go. <laughs> I got it figured out at 273,000 now, so that's always good. And there's another one right over here, so we're gonna be halfway through. Awesome. And that seems to be about everything. Yeah, there might be like one or two more plants over this way I can't quite see, but they're still there. And then we can use Lumos to get rid of all these, maybe. That's it, there's a couple more. Get out of here. And let's put all those together. Seems pretty good to me. So I'm gonna give that thing a blast. Of course, it's gonna tell us our combination. It's gonna be right, left, and down, and then left again, or up. Right, left, down, up. Right, left, uh, down, and up. There it is. And now we got tons of stuff to beat up. Oh yeah, I forgot about this part. It's like a little extended maze. Okay, got a good couple of those. Got a couple more I can still get. Oh, I do see some dark magic stuff over this way. I guess with this door. So we could switch to Snape right over here. And instantly, we got some stuff we can do with that. So this is definitely a bonus direction. There was a bird in that uh, fern, for one reason or another. And then let's get Crookshanks out, little buddy. Thank you very much. We get ourselves the Ravenclaw crest. Very cool. That seems to be all we can do in this area specifically. If we wait it out though, there should be even more around here. I, I did see the flower. So that'll be our fifth out of eight. There's there's crumb again. Anything else? Oh, ooh, there is a, I can barely see it. A, uh, one of these chests with the ridiculous. I mean, I made you scared, I made you into a baby. And we get a secret character, we get floor, maze, task. I mean, a lot of versions of all the uh, crown, or the, the cup, the Triwizard Cup participants. Seems like there's something over there, but also doesn't look like there's any way to get in there. We'll have to wait and see. For right now, I can go this way. And there's lots of stuff to beat up around here. Like yeah, like you can see that there's ways to go over there, but it like it doesn't actually add up to anything. Like there's nothing actually over there. So I don't think we can do anything. Ooh, one out of five for that. Gotta look around then, for sure. I don't think I've run into any of those recently. Come on, there we go. And one more time. Oh, here's another one right here. They are sort of sneaky. You gotta really look for them. Two out of five. We're still looking for more of that flower, though. I just hope I haven't missed anything because I've been trying to stay super diligent, but it never works out that way. I almost always miss something. There we go. I'm gonna be able to get those three, right? Or is there one more thing to get? I can't tell because the hedge is in the way. I thought I didn't, oh no, I did. Go, 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 go. Get out of here, crumb. Another one of these. Scared away, three out of five. And we're gonna be coming up on the crown pretty soon, or the cup. I always wanna call it a crown for some reason. Oh, plenty to do in here. I do hear the, the harp, so something fancy is coming up. Usually the harp sound is like an, a new character. I'll have to wait and see. Oh, okay, or it's a, a crest piece. How do I exactly get over there? I'll have to wait and see for now. We got six out of eight for that. Okay, so getting all this, 
just like that. He's telling us to go that way, and usually when you mess with the arrow, something will happen. And I'll do that in just a moment to see. First, I wanted to clear some of the stuff out. Okay, so what happens if I blast you right now? Um. Oh yeah, and then I can pick this up and put it over there. Before I do that, I got plenty of other things to do around here. Get rid of all this, as much as I possibly can. Come on, Snape. You're pretty good at destroying stuff, right? But how do I get over to that? That's a bit of a mystery for right now. I might have missed something over this way. I sure hope so, because if not, I have no clue. Like, you see how there's no way to get over there from here? Oh, I do see the little green mist, though. Where does that come from? Hmm. That is weird, isn't it? Might have something to do with this, then. I might as well try it now. We have Snape. Aha, okay, it is. And there's something for Crookshanks to do. We'll do that in just a second. First, let's do that. I'm still looking for more spots for the creepy crawlies. I don't know if that's around here. Doesn't look like it. That's sort of concerning. I feel like I may have missed stuff, but I don't know, that's so weird. And we get another secret character. This is uh, Victor Lake Tasco. I think we're looking for one more secret character it is. And now I gotta do this. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. I missed one flower. Pick this up, bring it back over here because I'm, I'm almost positive I've gotten all the creepy call, crawly vines that have popped up so far. I really don't see anything else. I probably shouldn't be walking around with this thing because if I drop it, I mean, it'll just disappear back where it was. I hope. <laughs> um, will it? Yeah, okay, uh, we're good, we're good. I don't think I did though. I don't know, it's hard to say. Like there's sometimes little dips like that, but there's clearly not a space for it. I mean, there is still more to do. So maybe that's the issue. Um, but now that we've done this, I just need to give it a little turnaround. And we're still not done, there's still more. So luckily there's that. I did hear the scream of the student in peril. And this is gonna be another one. That's good. Hey, why didn't it work? Four out of five. Oh yeah, that's what we have to go through to make progress in this level. Another one of these at seven out of eight. We're getting so close, so very close. Hopefully it's near here. All right, this is like, yeah, that's the head of the Sphinx. I'm gonna leave that be for now. Just for now. Oh, here we go, here we go. Boom. Eight out of eight. That is another secret character. It is Cedric Maze Tasks, Task. So that's all the secret characters for this level. Oh, and here's the student in peril. Um, There it is. Hooray, student in peril saved. So we are just looking for two more crust pieces. One of them will be the vines. The other one will be who knows what, maybe this actually, most likely this. There we go, five out of five. Switch over to Hermione, get Crookshanks out. Go, 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 dig, dig, dig. What do we got? Just studs. Really, that's it? Okay, well the last thing could actually be in the area where Voldemort shows up. I'm starting to think most likely. Okay, well we did everything we could really do over this way. I'm going to pick this up. It's a book. And then a spring, oh yeah, and then we can use that to get over. Because I think there's something that'll scare the Sphinx off. And got it. There's a blue stud. And what's going on over this way? Oh, oh yeah, the gross bug, I remember all this now. But I know there was a lot of stuff near the Voldemort fight, so I'm going to assume that it has something to do with that. Yeah, because and then, and then the Sphinx gets scared of the spider, yada yada. I think. Or am I supposed to fight him? I don't remember. Okay, we now we gotta do something with that. Can I fight him? No, he just sort of stands there. Okay, goodbye. Don't look at me like that. Like I'm I'm after dinner. I'm dessert or something. There we go. Come and get him. I do see that. I missed the blue stat. I don't know if I care too much. And off he goes. And let's make sure to build that as well. Just get over this way. I mean, it was giving me the option before. Oh, I gotta get over here, okay. Put it all together and put it right on him. He's not gonna like this. He didn't like it the first time. Why would he like it the second time? Oh no. Run away! It's funny is you can so easily squish him. And there it is, the Triwizard Cup. I will beat up everything along the way just in case that's what I'm supposed to do for this last thing, but I'm pretty sure it's gonna be where we fight fighting Voldemort. That's where we're gonna find everything that we need for this last crest. 
but it's always good to be extra sure. There is all of that, and I don't think I can actually explore this room too much, or maybe I can. Not too much to it. Okay, there's definitely stuff to do here, so I'm gonna ignore Voldemort at all costs and just sort of fiddle with things. Just like, I am the most evil guy ever, and you're ignoring me for some, some money, and for whatever this crest thing is. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. He's just gonna keep blasting me over and over again. Hopefully he'll leave me alone and just have, well these are not, not even Voldemort, this is the Death Eater. Okay, that's fine. There's like a lot of these gravestones to mess with, and it's not easy to mess with them. Here, go ahead and do this. I'm gonna make you dance. <laughs> yada da 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 And that's one out of three, so there's more skeletons to make dance around here. I see this one. Dance, skeleton, dance! Ow. There it is, there it is. Where's the third and final skeleton? He's right here. Everything else is extra, I suppose. And finished. There it is. Can you stop blasting me? Boom! We get the Slytherin crest. So there we go. I <laughs> like Voldemort just hanging out over there in the corner. We get ourselves three um, hidden characters found. We got the student in peril, and we got the crest completed. That seems to be just about everything for me. I don't know. Do we not unlock uh, Voldemort this way? I guess not. We get floor of the maze task completed. We get, oh gosh, we had, uh, I think it was Harry the Maze Task and Cedric the Maze Task. Very cool, and we get the house crest completed. We get the true wizard and over 20 million studs. Student in peril, awesome. And how many gold bricks? Should be three more, so we're gonna be at a total of 114. Very cool, so with that being said, every story mode level in free play is finished, and that is amazing. Alrighty, so I'm so glad that is finished, and now we are officially over 50% through the game, but as you can see, every single story mode level is now complete. So you might be wondering, what is next for LEGO Harry Potter? Well, there's still a good chunk more. We need to explore all of Hogwarts and all of Diagon Alley to find all of the hidden collectibles you can find in the game, and that's gonna be a lot of fun. There's still quite a lot to do when it comes to all that, and I am looking forward to it. So we'll be chipping away at that in the future episodes. We'll be buying all the characters, getting all the red bricks, activating them, all that kind of cool stuff. But for right now, I think that's just about to wrap it up and just sort of scrolling through everything to make sure we have it all. And it looks like that is exactly the case. So with that being said, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Lego Harry Potter years one through four. Before you go, be sure to comment Voldemort Zebra so that you've watched at the end of the year, a Zebra-tastic viewer. Also subscribe to join the Zebra Herd. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.